and low kicks. Welcome to Morning Karate for 117, 18 actually, 118. I'm Les Bubka and every morning I share with you a thought about karate. Today about the low kicks or mawashikiri get down in karate. So <clears throat> from the traditional kata and footage and instructions, we know that uh, low kick was not a thing in karate. Um, kicking low with the maigiri and kansetsugiri was, but a thigh kick as such wasn't there. It's been brought in from Muay Thai by mostly Kyokushin practitioners. At least that's uh, my understanding of it after a fight in Thailand between a Kyokushin and Thai boxers. Um, it's a lovely technique, one of my favorite because I can't kick high, so I kick low. Um, but it's kind of astonishing how uh, many people uh, kind of don't take this technique seriously until they're gonna feel the kick landing on the thigh. Um, it's one of the most destructive techniques in martial arts and if you have a Thai or kickboxer kicking or the Kyokushin guy it is not very pleasant and um, the IT band doesn't like to be hit you've got the, if you put your leg backwards you've got the sciatica nerve which doesn't like to be touched as well and plus you've got the quads up front who got the four heads and each head being hit is not fun uh, and dropping people very very quickly especially if you've got somebody who can fit a um, series of those kicks in the same spot Plus you've got the many, many variations. There are some going parallel to floor, some going downwards, upwards, pushing forwards, sitting on it, and so on. So it's a very devastating technique. Um, I like I like to use in it. It was one of the key techniques in our dojo that my teacher was um, using at all the time. And uh, you know, although more you're doing it, more you're getting used to it, and it's not so bad to get it. There are ways to mitigating with uh, placing of your legs, moving yourself towards the kick or uh, around the kick. But during a sparring, it's very difficult to pull off. And when that leg lands on your thigh, it's painful. And it is a fight finisher for those who never been kicked. And so I'm kind of puzzled why people are kind of disregarding it and I think it should be in every single martial arts if you're learning you should be doing that I know that the different sports settings promote different activities and so on so in Kyokushin I think that people should learn um, punches to the face regardless of <coughs> competition rules and I see more so the dojo do that anyway and uh, if you fight sport fighting you should be um, somewhat get used to it to a full contact and getting hit harder <clears throat> at least once in a time. I don't think that you should be hit in the head, but you should be able to condition your body. So if you don't have a low kick in your in your style, go somewhere, learn, try, see how it feels, um, see how much damage it can do. Obviously not, don't ask people to just chop your leg off, but uh, have a feel, have a sensation of it, and then uh, you can add it to your repertoire and um, start using it because it is a very effective um, technique and it really makes people hobble around and limp and uh, it gives you advantage if you have it. If you would like to support the channel, best way to do it is to watch the other video. Uh, you can grab us a coffee, all the funds going into the Karate for Mental Health project where we can support people who are less fortunate than we are. See you tomorrow.